and action. Hi there, I'm Jerry Fleming, and this is Ser de Vino. This is wine number 23 on our excursion through Europe. Uh, Campo Viejo uh, from the Rioja region. Uh, it's made from Tempra Neo grapes. I'm not sure on the year. I'd, if I were to guess, since they didn't label it, I'd guess 2018. Uh, it's like fairly new, I'm guessing. Uh, so we're going to be tasting uh, their red. They've actually been on uh, my Instagram and liking a couple of my photos. So I've been meaning to try it and I'm finally glad I get to try it uh, again, actually. I tried this last year um, while I was traveling through uh, Europe with my friend at Grant. Um, we uh, definitely enjoyed it as far as I can remember. Um, last time we weren't uh, so much drinking it to appreciate it, we were drinking it just to get drunk. So this time it's going to be nice to actually be able to pair it up with things. Um, from what I hear, um, it pairs well with a nice mild cheese um, and maybe some like tapas, uh, like, uh, I don't know, some, some light meal like uh, to go with it. So it's nice to be actually paired with this. I heard this is a perfect pairing like combination. So let me pour it up. Um, thank you Venturi. We like to say again as always thank you for making our wine smoother, aerated and fresh tasting. Um, also I'd like to take this time to say follow us on Sarah Davino. We have our Facebook, Instagram and I'm working currently on getting our Twitter started up so give it a moment and we'll have uh, those three avenues that you can get in contact with us and also our YouTube videos where we actually do we're putting all these videos. So please follow us and we'll definitely uh, take any suggestions or feedback that you may have. Um, if you notice I'm doing something off or something that can improve my uh, ability to taste, please let me know. I am very open to feedback. So let's get it. So it's made from Tempranillo grapes, which tells me that it probably has that classic Spanish spice. It has that cherry flavor probably, but that's just my guess before I even get to smell or taste it. Um, let's look at this thing, see how leggy it is. All right, so not very sugary at all from what I'm seeing. I am just seeing a light, light little bit of legs around here. So it shouldn't be too sweet, maybe more acidic than anything if I were just to look at it and guess. And sorry for the crude glass again, um, the giant chalice that uh, I've been pouring my wine out of into. It's nice for uh, getting drunk, but uh, unfortunately I uh, <laughs> was unable to uh, get a smaller one. So let's give it a nice taste. Okay, so from the coloration actually, I can already tell, um, definitely has that, oh, let me see. Definitely a little bit lighter. Um, you see that light cherry look all around the edges, a little pinkish, I guess, like a little, or just a light red. Um, so it just goes all around the edges and like gives it a thin look. Yeah. Ooh. So as always, I, I guess that the, the cherry flavor and definitely I can definitely see my I see a little spice if I were to taste this thing. Probably a little acidity, like right back in here. Yeah, peppery in the nose, definitely. I mean, obviously I'm smelling it, but I mean like when you drink it and you get a little peppery in your like sinuses right here, that's, that's definitely it. Oh, that was a good whiff. Also, you might, you see me doing this with my uh, sizes like it's if you can't tell or guess for what it does uh, basically opens up the olfactory and your sciences so you're able to detect a couple more of the flavors and all that it's, it's uh, it actually helps you breathe and if you're ever sick or anything like that too so there's another uh, little tidbit for you so yeah the cherry sweetness um like uh not super sweet not tart or anything like that just that I don't know, that the fruity, the fruity, uh, fruity flavors. Oi.
Yeah, definitely that cherry flavor. My God, you can't escape the cherry flavor in the, in the Rioja region. I mean, Spain is almost pretty famous for, what is it? Uh, Valencia oranges, um, was it their cerezas, their cherries, and uh, peanuts and olives. So you might detect a little bit of that nutty, fruity flavor, all that stuff inside here. Pretty much, if you go out to any bar or any place like that, you will get tapas, or you'll get a little, uh, like little side tapas, like uh, cacahuetes. They call them uh, their peanuts or olives. They actually, go great with beer, the olives. So definitely, if you're out there, you have to give that a try. Was quite delicious. All right. So this is, uh, I think that's all I have to say really about the Campo Viejo uh, from the Rioja region. I'm still uh, working on uh, getting our YouTube videos all up and everything like that. So I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, please let me know if uh, you need any other, have any questions, suggestions, advice, anything you just want to talk, let me know. Uh, my name is Jerry Fleming with Sarah Davino, and as always, please follow and cheers.